So here we have the Volkswagen Golf 1.5 TSI SE on an 18 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see that it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. Approach the boot you'll see we have reversing sensors. This car's also got a reversing camera which I'll show you when we're inside the car. Plenty of boot space as you can see along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car now and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see that it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You've got uh, seats which are in fantastic condition. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for this car are 9,395. You can change the information that's displayed above that using buttons on the steering wheel for various different menus, as you can see. So your telephone, audio, navigation, uh, back round to the driver data menu that we're on here. And there's some useful information within each menu. Uh, so on the driver data menu, for example, you can have a digital readout for the speedometer, should you wish to. The buttons I was using to do all of that are these ones uh, just here. We've also got stereo controls over this side and voice activation for the phone. So if you hit that button, ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list, it can do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or your pocket. That is, of course, once you've paired up your phone and that's done on the central screen and we'll come to that in just a moment. On the left-hand side, we've got cruise control with speed limiter. This car, uh, by hitting that button, has got the ability to maintain its own safe distance between this car and the car in front. So slowing you down and speeding you up uh, in conjunction with the cruise control settings. And we've done a video uh, showing exactly how that works. You can find that on our Facebook page or on our website. Over in the center here is where you will pair your phone, just here, amongst other things. Uh, so you pair your phone from on there. When it comes to the radio, this car has got DAB, FM, and AM radio all available. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. You just hit the media button. And you can see just there all the different ways in which you can listen to your own uh, music. Uh, one of which is the Bluetooth audio. So once you've paired your phone, not only will you be able to make and receive phone calls, uh, but you'll be able to listen to your music as well. Uh, this car has got a reversing camera. So pop it in reverse. You can see it's a full color camera with guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image that you see on the screen. And we've also got satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how that works on both our website and our Facebook page. Under that, we've got the air conditioning, so you can select the temperature, fan speed, and then direction you'd like the air to be distributed with uh, in. And hit that button to turn the air conditioning on, and same again to turn it off. We've got a cubby hole here that opens up. In that section, we've got uh, the USB and auxiliary inputs, so uh, two of your music connections. We have a six-speed manual gearbox, to the right-hand side of which we have this button. So this will turn on or off the parking sensors. And over on the left-hand side, we can turn off the stop and start. So this car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. You can turn that system off. And this mode button are the different driver modes. If we give that button a push, and I'll show you up on the screen, we can put the car in eco mode, normal mode, sport mode, or individual. So if I press the button again, that will come back. We can put it in normal, sport. Individual simply means you can set up all the different elements of the other settings, but manually. So you can put the steering into sport, for example, if you want to and leave everything else normal. And that would mean that the steering was extra firm, extra stiff, kind of sportier feel about the car. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.